Hello and welcome back. Uh, you will see I am wearing the same shirt as last time because I was just honestly so excited <laughs> about continuing to play this that I just played right through it. So, if you're as excited as I am, let's just get right to it. You know, we survived the Riverside Institute and now it seems like we have a little bit more of a peaceful uh, time at least being able to connect pieces together, see what everything is going on with Sarah Hawkins. So, let's do this. No parent should have to bury their child, knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. She looks like she was My work was what lured me here in the first place. She began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. A little domestic. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Couldn't save the boy, though. Simon. Come on. It's over now. Oh, hello, Cthulhu. Hi. Fancy seeing you here. Okay. Algernon is here. I am going to finally take a moment and fill up our sheet. We have eight points. Amazing. Uh, if we wanted full investigation, we could do that. I don't think we do need that anymore. Let's bring up eloquence. Psychology. Will we need strength? Maybe. And how much more investigation will we need? Maybe a bit more. I think eloquence is good at four. That's really good for us. Psychology is good at... Uh. We should either have an investigation or eloquence up high. So let's do investigation. So we're gonna go with, I just ignore spot hidden and strength all the time. 
Sanity. Oh, look at all this. Oh boy, it is non existent anymore. The ideals you have gone through have left their mark. So I wonder if when that goes down, if we'll shake and we'll turn into something else. Oh my god, look at all these. Meet the Shambler, reading the Necronomicon. Turn to Pierce slowly come to understand that his investigation has taken him into unknown territory. Words of the Necronomicon still echo in his mind. Will he ever forget that horrifying read? Trapped in madness, institute in order to help the doctor, immediately attacked by the shambler. He fled through a transmutated hospital whose architecture repeated no fit, and by repeated I mean respected. I'm sorry, I can't read. I just went through trauma. Uh, respected no physical laws. Detective thinks that he's got a grip on himself, but he now knows that death and madness lie in his path. His sanity was severely affected by this new ordeal. Fair. Charles Hawkins. He was on the point of strangling Pierce when Sarah Hawkins drove a poker into his throat. <laughs> uh, and what was the last one down here? The cost of truth. While Pierce's sanity is growing dangerously weaker, his increased sensitivity to the occult opens new ways for him. On rare occasions, he is now able to unearth hidden truths when he speaks to the inhabitants of the island. As with everything connected with the myth, using it comes at a cost. So that was that answer that we gave to Sarah Hawkins that we didn't know about. At least a few of these. So we skipped over two books so far, so definitely two of those are books. Uh, that aren't affecting our sanity. Algernon Drake is here. Sarah Hawkins, she back. Marie Colden, unfortunately. I don't know if I'm going crazy, but I believe that her words are full of truth. Charles Hawkins, he a little dead now. <sighs> Look at all these occult things we have. Ascent. When they will have consumed the stellar flesh and survived the transformation closer than ever to their new master, they will enter his sleep of death and will only awaken to answer his call. They will be called the Awakened. Necronomicon Elder Sign. Cthulhu. I'm not even going to read that. The High Priest. Look at all this knowledge, all these sleeping pills we found. Alright. Let's do this. Ooh. Where are they? There they are. Mr. Pierce. We were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? Yes. This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. Peace out. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. <laughs> Let's not do that one yet. Why do you think you're responsible for everything that has happened? Because I am. I am the one who read the forbidden book. I am the one who painted the creature. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. Mm. You would risk destroying the world. Just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. 
I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. Good for her. Uh, this will cost us our sanity. But fuck it. You can't give up. Even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. <gasps> what? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks, and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. Consult diary. I have a feeling that this game at the end is going to pin us either helping the Cthulhu or destroying it. And that's going to be very interesting. Talk to Algernon Drake. She won't leave Darkwater, not before having killed the Shambler. Madness. Charles' office was upstairs? That's where Sarah's office was. Charles' office was where that secret bookcase was. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't Fair. care Same. why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something, an amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. Uh, I don't want to risk more of my sanity. The dagger with the strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the Dagger of the Ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the Dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, it that did. is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. Because we pooped ourselves. This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. And we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. We're not doing this. I decided against it. We need to save some of our sanity. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbelievable. Bauble. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. 
A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Fair. This painting, sketch of a bust. Find the amulet, find the bust. Ah, it's you again. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That's all I want. All in. Okay, find the amulet. Let's not go down there. Uh, no. What do we have for clues? Great, nothing. How do we have no clues? The sketch must guide me to the artifact concealed by concealed Charles Hawkins. Where have I already seen it? I mean, it looked like it was literally right behind us, but I guess not. So let's run through here. been a lot of things up here I remember there was a head in Sarah Hawkins uh, office right I remember making a really big stink about that yeah yeah I'm so smart the sketch must guide me to the artifact concealed by concealed Charles Hawkins where I've already seen it I think I know where this is too Nothing extra in here. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? Oh, we can reconstruct? Sure, why not? What kind of ritual was she preparing? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? Let's just mess up our sanity just a little bit more. Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. How did she survive her encounter with the Shambler? How did she react? Afraid. Maybe it appreciates her like a mother almost. Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Interesting. If the amulet can protect Sarah Hawkins from the influence of the mythos, I must find it. All right, I'm pretty sure this is over here. Yeah, that's right there. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. Amulet is engraved with the Elder Sign. Drake calls it the Key of Relay. He firmly believes that this artifact is of great power. Gained some occultism. That has to be 
very high, and it is very high. But our sanity also... Oh, great. We're psychotic. There is a secret, a forgotten secret, so old and terrifying, which is only divulged in the blasphemous pages of lost tomes, or whispered during forgotten and outlawed rituals. We are not children of providence. You know the cruel and awful truth, and you have seen the frightening face of reality. Show the amulet to Drake. I wonder if we can talk to Sarah about the... Nope, we can't. She looks sad. Sorry, Sarah. Ah, uh, it's you again. It is I, Dio. Take this. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must Might tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. All right, running back. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes, Chief West is here with Sullivan. What are you Bradley, doing here? You take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. When did you get here? When did this happen? I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. Oh, you're so clever. You bet I will. What if he just calls to Cthulhu just to have him kill those police officers? Huh. <sighs> wow. Okay. That was good. We spoke to Sarah Hawkins, we spoke to Algernon Drake, we were able to figure out the amulet. Those puzzles were pretty easy for us because I felt like I've been in Sarah Hawkins' mansion so much, but also just going back and watching my playthroughs, I knew exactly where all those busts were. But we're in quite a predicament. Not as much of a predicament as, we, as we've been before, but an itty-bitty one, right? We're arrested. But let's see if Sarah Hawkins can uh, can help us out. So next time, let's see how we get out of this. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Thank you for watching. If you are enjoying the channel, if you are enjoying the videos, please do like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Take care now. Bye.